Here we are in the National Orchid Garden in the Singapore Botanic Gardens. And there are hundreds of orchid species here. The family of orchids has close to 30,000 species, which is tied with asters, which is the family that has the sunflower and daisies. It's tied with that for the most number of species, close to 30,000. So we're gonna take a look at some of these amazing, amazing flowers. I had no idea we could see so many colors and we just started. What an unbelievable scene, just incredible. I mean, we're gonna have to do more videos. Like, I mean, there's just too much to talk about. So I hope you'll sign up and that way you'll get an email when we have a new video. We're gonna have a bunch of videos about biodiversity, conservation, the environment, and of course, wildlife. But today it's about orchids and we're gonna to have to come back here, I think. This is unbelievable, this place. Wow. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> A very beautiful fruit dove or fruit pigeon. Wow. I think he's eating fruits of another species of melastome. Wow. Look at the size of these. Those are amazing. They're the size of the palm of my hand almost. And uh, these are incredible. I mean, this is really unbelievable. And here's a very, very nice, simple white orchid, which is very nice. Look at this scene. <laughs> This looks like something out of the age of the dinosaurs somehow. Look at that beautiful white flower there. I don't think that's an orchid, but it's extremely nice. We'll take a look at it. Wow, here's a crazy, crazy orchid over here. Two stands of them. Wow. I don't know. I think I've seen at least 100 species already, maybe 200. We're about to get rained on, so we might have to pack it in for now, come back another time. Wow. This is the Joe and Jill Biden orchid, apparently, named after the current president of the U.S. I've never heard of this genus, but there's so many different genera. Papilionanda. Dendrobium is, there are lots of species in that genus. This is dendrobium, this is dendrobium, all different species of dendrobium. Dendrobium, dendrobium. The colors are so incredibly different. Wow. Of course, in Latin America, there are some amazing bees called orchid bees that specialize on pollinating orchid plants. And we, they, they are an entirely different story completely. Very complicated story. We can talk about that another time. What's in here? The VIP orchid garden. This is really crazy. It, this is like virtual reality come to life. I mean, a virtual reality is supposed to be extreme, but this is more extreme than the most extreme virtual reality. Crazy colors, wow.
tall ones, short ones. Look at this amazing combination of colors. Things arise about why there are so many orchid species. And we should talk about that another time because I'm not even sure I have a, a notion of why that would be. But I guarantee you, there are orchid specialists who have thought about this a lot. I mean, why would 30,000 species be in one plant family if there are only a quarter of a million of all flowering plants? I think we've done some of the celebrity orchid garden, but it looks like we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to work this a lot more because here are one of the most famous orchids of all, apparently, which I think this garden developed. It became one of the most important cut flowers in the world for decades, in fact. So subtle, right? Very, very subtle coloration. It's wonderful. I thought I had seen a lot of orchids in my life in other botanical gardens and flower shops, but I had no idea. I was clueless. I'm still pretty clueless, but a little less so now. You've seen it all. The orchids surprise you again with something else amazing. Look at this little guy. Yes, you think, oh, they're all kind of purpley or pink and purple and white, but no, it's not so simple. There are orange ones, there are yellow ones. Pretty unbelievable. I see they've added some things in the ginger family just for variety. This is a costus, I believe, in the ginger family. It's not an orchid, but still beautiful and famous. There are small orchids, there are tiny orchids, there are huge orchids. Oh, look at this. Also not an orchid, I don't remember the name of that, but that's so nice. Each orchid is more beautiful than the next. I feel like this is the most so far. There are so many ways to affect positive change for our planet, so you must act right now to make an immediate difference. Join us in advancing our mission to forge weapons of mass conservation, to elevate people and wildlife through transformative nature experiences. Click on the link below to speak with one of our South Wild specialists to learn how to explore the wilds with us.